Hey guys, Justin here. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the tag system. So in order to understand the tagging system a bit better, I'm going to set up an example. In our example, our AI will be able to detect the player depending on the player state. So if the player is in stealth mode, the AI will detect the player only when it is near enough. And but when the player is in normal mode, the AI will be able to detect the player even if it's far away. Alright, so first of all, I have a player here who can move and crouch. That's about it. So if it's crouching, that's stealth mode. Walking is normal mode. Okay, so let's go to our player. As you can see, here are the controls, crouch and uncrouch. Now I want to manipulate the tags of our player so the AI will be able to detect him. So first of all, let's get tag, get tags, and let's add unique. So when when we are crouching, I want to set up a tag of player stealth, and then let's remove the current tag, which is player. Okay. So in this case player stealth means the player is in stealth mode and player means normal mode so we have to remove that okay and uh, we actually can copy that let's add unique again this time when we uncrouch let's add back player and then when we yeah and then remove remove player stealth okay so that's about it for the player now let's create our AI so I'm gonna name this BP NPC tag AI okay pin that up and in our mesh I'm just gonna change quickly okay now in our behavior component in the auto settings let's add an a within distance trigger Okay, if the actor is a player, if just player, uh, and it's within a distance of 1000, then we go to attack melee. Okay, now if, let's add another one, if the, if it's in player stealth, uh, we make the distance 300, then attack melee. Okay, so this means that if the player is within distance 1000 okay that's good so let's go to the attack settings let's just set this quickly animations that one and in the target tags let's add player stealth so our AI will be able to attack both of them both types okay Let's drag in our AI and oh wait before that before that I uh, I want to point out something I I have a bug here and they it's just very simple we have to disconnect this actor list loop from the return node because what what's happened is it only checks for one one within distance tag one beyond distance tag yeah okay so just disconnect that I'll have it fixed in the next batch but for now you can just, just disconnect that okay now let's drag in our AI okay so if I, I'm in normal mode if I go in a distance of 1000 okay he attacks now if I'm in stealth mode he should only attack if I'm in 300 Okay, so as you can see, he's not attacking anymore because I'm in stealth mode. He will attack, yeah, in your snare. Okay, now let's try if, what if we stood up in the middle of that. If we stand up, he still attacks. Okay, so that is the tagging system. Cheers, guys.